what's going on YouTube I haven't been on this thing in mad long and really um I've just been lazy so um recently I, I I've been getting a lot of questions and comments and stuff like freedom what what's going on why you not in a relationship why don't you have a girlfriend all this stuff and I'm just like well really it's none of your business but um since I'm here home bored and everything I might as well talk about it right so um well one of the um big questions I always get freedom what do you look for in a relationship honestly I'm not really sure. I know what I'm attracted to, but I don't. I'm not really sure exactly what I look for in a relationship because I've had a, a number of girlfriends, but I guess only, I could say only one of those girlfriends I actually truly liked and actually had like a real relationship. But um, I, so I don't really have like a lot of experience. I guess you can say I know people that had a lot of girlfriends and they were like serious relationships with me. After like three months, I just can't do it. And if I stay with you longer than three months. It's probably because I just didn't know how to say, yeah, it's over. But anyway, what do I look for in a relationship? Um, like I said, I don't know, so I'm going to just say what I'm attracted to. I'm attracted to, I'm attracted to, I, for years I was saying I'm attracted to light-skinned girls and stuff like that and all that stuff, but I've come to find that I'm not even so much into, co I'm not into color at all. I've come to find that, so I'm learning more about myself. I'm not into color at all. You could be of any color. But what I'm really into, what really attracts me is um, is the mind. The mind, like how you think, how you act, how you talk, uh, the mor your morals. Um, one thing that can really grasp my grasp my attention is the um the way that you talk. What do you talk about? How do you talk? Like I don't like hearing um, women talk negative negatively. I don't like hearing them curse. It really turns. That's a big turn off for me to hear women curse and and speak degradingly and stuff like that. That really turns that's a huge turn off for me. I don't like that. Also, I like one uh I would like to to be with somebody who thinks positively and not negatively all the time. You know? Uh it gets annoying after a while, after a while when you're talking with somebody and everything that's coming out their mouth is mad negative. You tell them, Oh, you look beautiful. Oh, why do you say that? I don't think so. Oh just take the compliment and go with it. If I'm telling you you're beautiful, you're beautiful. So I'm not into all that negativity, and you gotta be able to um, keep my attention as well. Don't bore me, which means that you have to have some type of sense of humor, some type of sense of humor. If you take everything literally and get offended by everything, then it's not gonna work out. You have to have a sense of humor. Also, I like women that can dress. I hate it. Let me not say hate. I don't really like using that word. I dislike when uh, girls come up to me. This may sound mean and everything, but I dislike when girls come up to me and they just don't look the part. Like don't like I like to dress and everything, so I expect the girl that I'm gonna be with to be able to throw on some heels and you know just rock a nice outfit. You know what I'm saying? So I like a girl that can dress, and then. Also, I like a true believer in Jesus Christ. If you cannot bring up Jesus in your conversation at all anywhere, I don't know if it would ever work out between us. If you cannot bring up the word of God at all in this conversation, if you cannot bring up anything out of the good book, I don't know if we would ever work out because I'm always quoting, I'm always talking about the word of God. So... I need somebody to be able to be there, a Bible reader to be there with me, talk back and let's have conversation, you know. And also, is there, I like, I like my girls. This may sound mean, maybe, I don't know. I don't really know how y'all going to take it, but I like my, my slim girls. Some dudes are really into the, the thick girls with the big booty pow and all everything. I'm not into that. I like, I like my thin girls. I'm not into all that big booty uh, hip-hop video chick. I'm not into that. That's not me. I don't, no. I like my slim chicks. But anyway, so yeah, I laid out what I'm really attracted to. You have to have a sense of humor. I, I, I'm attracted to my slim girls. My slim girls. 
sense of humor, gotta be able to talk about God, gotta bring up God in the conversation somewhere, gotta be saved, Holy Ghost filled, you gotta have the Holy Ghost, because if I see something in the Holy Ghost, I need you to be able to be there with me, amen, but um, yeah, yeah, really, that's about it, I met this girl, I'm at school, and I kind of, I'm kind of crushing on her a little bit, but I'm just going to let things fly by, see, see what the Lord says, because I don't like wasting my time, so I'm going to see, I'm going to see what he says, and see what he shows me, but yeah, this is, this is girl at school, at Mercy College, I'm crushing on her a little bit, I'm pretty sure it's obvious, I think she knows, but she playing, playing around, but the Lord will make a way. I keep praying for the Lord to send me a woman after his own heart. So, yeah, um, I guess that answers the question that everybody always asks me why I'm not in a relationship. A relationship. I, really, I'm not in a relationship because I haven't caught, nobody had really caught my eye yet. Uh, I haven't really met anybody yet that I feel comfortable with taking time out of whatever I'm doing now to spend time spend time with them really to put that effort into a relationship I haven't met anybody yet that showed me that it will be worthwhile uh, so yeah and you also gotta be down with ministry if I'm praying for somebody I need you to be right there beside me praying as well as something I don't wanna feel like I'm in this whole thing by myself it's a partnership alright it's a partnership well, I, that's really all I got to say. It's 5 o'clock over here uh, in New York. You guys have a great day, great night, great evening, great noonday, great whatever it is, wherever you're at. And you guys just have a great keep God first and be encouraged.